Hello. I'm trying to get set up. Hey, y'all. Jessica, Marissa, T Tisha, Devante, Michelle. Hey, guys. Y'all have to bear with me on um, Instagram Live. I just started going Instagram. I know I look a mess, honey. I just, I've been traveling. Let me make sure the volume's up. I'm tired. I need not be trying to go live. I'm going to be messy. Messy, 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 honey. Call me Messy Mariah today. <laughs> no shade. <laughs> you know how you try to be nice, but then people just take your kindness for weakness? Shout out to Tammy Roman. Um, she did a really good video about Married to Medicine. Um, it was so funny. You know, she's so funny. Oh, she said I had got fired. But, you know, you was wrong on that, Tammy, actually. I was on an extended paid vacation, highest paid vacation. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful thing. Um, hey Vanessa Brown. Okay, guys. Look. I'm gonna go in one minute. I'm gonna get started. I ain't gonna keep you long. No, you're on your lunch break. Got about ten minutes. I'm tired anyway. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back in the A. I'm coming back to London soon, actually. I'm tired, y'all. Eyes all Zoic. Let me. It's all right. Okay, so look. Look, Aiden going to ask me. Aiden said, you're going live today? I said, yeah, I'm about to go live. He going to talk about I hope you're not about to do all that Daddy Damon receipts and stuff. I said, what you mean? Don't go there. Don't go down that, don't go down that road, Mariah. I said, what you, why do you care? You can't censor me, Aiden. You cannot censor me. So this is not about Damon, y'all. Just let me let the record reflect. Not right now. This is about Dr. G, honey. Dr. G was on V103 this morning. Did y'all catch him? And he had a, he had, he, yay, neighbor, hey, neighbor. Listen, um, oh, goodness, y'all can't be texting me. Look, Dr. G went on V103 with Frank and Wanda this morning. Miss Sophia, you know, I love the morning show. And he said, he has said that they got married, him and Quad, had uh, got married in 2012. And was already sleeping in separate bedrooms by 2014. And what that reminded me of is that it was second season of Married to Medicine. So I was just wondering if anybody had told Dr. G, well, if she married you and then second season, y'all was already sleeping in separate bedrooms once she was on the show mm, the math ain't adding up right and then the people had said that he went to the radio station down at v103 you know it's at uh colony square and the people saying that she didn't show up at the circle today she went down to the square trying to block him from being on the radio station no, nah, boo-boo. Boo-boo kitty, you have had a voice, and you've been lying about it, and it's time for him to tell his truth. And see, I'm not like that. I'm, 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 I promise you I'm getting folks marriages. But you know she went on Watch What Happens Live and had the audacity to say I was fake and phony when I haven't really said much about Quad or her marriage at all. But one thing she will not do is call me fake and phony because that's very far from who I am. I've had the same home, the same car, the same husband, the same life, the same voice since there has been a marriage to medicine and even before because this is who I am. So I think her life is really just crumbling and people are starting to see the real quad and starting to see a lot of things that are similar that was in her marriage and her friendships. The point, the, the, the fact of the matter is that she is a social climber. And I think he see it. Everybody sees it. So go on back down to the V103, Dr. G, and tell your truth. Sleeping in separate bedrooms uh, within two years, or right at two years, he said, well, I couldn't buy her those Chanel and Gucci bags every week. Uh, yeah, She would never go to church with me. Who don't go to church with a man or mosque or somebody? Like you, you, you. So you mean to tell me you you don't want to praise w with your husband? Well, he wasn't really cheating on you. He he wasn't cheating. He had moved on. Cause hell, you had moved on. If you ain't slept 
You ain't slept with your husband in years? He said that we hadn't slept together in years. Y'all, my little heart was breaking for Dr. G because he really is a nice little dude. He's, she hasn't slept with, I mean, I haven't slept with, so Frank was like, so y'all didn't sleep together in years? No, they, but I was so busy working, like, I was working three jobs. I was like, bless his heart. Me and Ada was just like, damn, this deep. I didn't even know they had been sleeping in the separate bedrooms. Year two? You know, people do that after about 20 years of marriage. You know, when you get arthritis and stuff. You know what I mean? So, you know, I haven't said much about the whole marriage thing. I had to put dad in the receipts on pause and tell y'all about going down to V103. Find that link, honey. Y'all find that V103 link. You know, he's real nice. And what I did like about the way he addressed it is I don't think he was trying to throw her under the bus. You know, he was just telling the truth. Like, she's going on all these different media outlets saying stuff that just really ain't true and really trying to ruin the boy career. And that is so wrong. I think it's really, really wrong because you have to think she wouldn't have been unmarried to medicine if she wasn't married to Dr. G. Be clear. Because the one thing that I have remained adamant about on my show <laughs> is that we remain, not that you say you have to stay married to medicine, but you have to be affiliated. That's the whole point of the show is that you're affiliated to, me to the medical field. So I think that's why she got that divorce, divorce on pause. He said he did everything. She's trying to get money from him, from him he's saying. And I thought the funny part about that was she was on, uh, 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 was so I heard, she was on Sister Circus saying she made more than him. So what, why do you need money from him if you make more than him? Shit, you should be paying him, right? Mm-hmm. Now I'm being messy. Yeah. And you, she called me fake and funny. Phony? No, baby. Now I'm going to be real, real, even more than I've been. Hey, y'all. Hey, Jerry Allen. That receipts walk. I can't do it. Now I got some pajama pants, honey. No, no, no edges, no nothing today. So I just wanted to tell y'all. Uh, I just wanted to give y'all a quick little update. Uh-huh. Let y'all see. Let, let the people hear with the, the truth. Uh, because one thing about it, I do not go in on people's marriages unless they come from mine. Now, you know, Heavenly had a long, <laughs> she got a whole lot coming from me. Uh, with a lot of stuff she's been doing. Yes, I am being messy boost today. I'm being messy. Call me messy morale today. I'm typically not messy, but I'm being messy as hell. I am. Mm, they ain't going to keep talking about me. How about that? Mm -hmm. Two years. Year two, you sleep in a separate bedroom. Baby, she got what she needed, and she was in the guest bedroom. <laughs> catch. Catch that, catch that extra bed. Mm -hmm. Baby, once she got on the show... I, I, I told Aiden, well, damn, I guess season, season two, honey, she broke up with Dr. G and me too. <laughs> Baby, she didn't need me as a friend and she didn't need him as a husband anymore once she started getting them checks. But guess what, boo-boo kitty? The checks don't last. Your marriage would have lasted. You cannot treat people wrong that have helped you. Every person that have helped that girl, she has used them and freaking abused them. I can't stand no user and no liar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all seen it. We all seen the red flags. Dr. G said, I saw the red flags. I saw all the red flags, but I just ignored them. Everybody used to say, man, I can't believe she with you. Man, what do you think she's seeing you? And I didn't really want to feel that way. Mm. I know you didn't. Mm -hmm. You could talk about her too, Scott. I mean, uh, 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 go ahead, Steve. Mm, you here for messy morale. I ain't going to do it every day. I ain't going to be messy every day, y'all. Maybe about one day a week. But I can't be messy every, every day. I don't want no bad luck. What about Damon? Aiden told me I can't talk about Damon today. He's like, I just I don't want you to go down now. I'm like, me and Cheryl do be covering for each other. I'm like, why you want? Why you care about what I say about Damon so bad? Because I told him, me and him had a discussion, and we promised we weren't going to go there. I was like, well, shit, if they go there, I'm going to go there now, Aiden. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. Today ain't about Damon. Today is about Dr. Gregory Lunsford being a good guy. Mm -hmm. Bless his heart. Don't even know he was being used. How about that? And see, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those loyal, loyal, loyal friends. For real, for real. I take stuff to the grave and I still will. However, she called me fake and phony. Mm -hmm. And I just see a pattern. I see a pattern. And the ladies are seeing it too. You know what? And now that she's down to the circle, they're going to see it. As soon as she get the next opportunity, she's going to shit on them too watching. And you remember I told you that. I bet you she won't even speak to half of them. Catch. Mm-hmm. 
Any questions, y'all? Yeah, he did forget I was black. If, if he thought what somebody said, Aiden forgot you was black. Yeah, uh huh. He don't know. Somebody throw more than I see. Tip, tip, typically, I try not to be tip for tat, but you got to go there with some folk. You know, you, I try my best to, to rise above, you know, but every once in a while, you got to come on down and get one of them worms. Soar like an eagle, but come back, come down and get your worm on every once in a while. For real. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, her show, she was talking about you. You know why she's talking about me? You know why she's talking about me. See, this is, I said, I refuse to go for quad this season because it was about her and her marriage. And I feel like you don't kick a person when they're down. But I feel as if once I said something about her, she was going to try to make it about me and draw it out so she have a reason to be on the show. Yeah, she don't want to take a step back and and deal with it and people break break her down. She can't take it. She can't take people actually telling her, well, you fight for your marriage. Well, Quad, you fight to be in a sorority or you fight for social clubs or you fight to be on your social show with the circle. Why you can't fight for your marriage like that, girlfriend? Don't that deserve some fighting for? You can get rejected of other things. You've been rejected from social clubs for several times. Don't you need to fight for your marriage? People have forgiven you. Why everybody keep asking me, where's your mom, child? I'm going to put her on with the receipts walk. Mm-hmm. When did she call you fake and phony? She called me fake and phony Sunday on Watch What Happens Live sitting next to Andy and Jackie. And Jackie was looking like, oh, God, I do not want to be in part of this mess. But Jackie kept correcting her on a few things she was saying. Like when she was saying the ladies haven't supported her through her marriage, we have all reached out to Quad. Every one of us. I sent her a text. She didn't respond. I sent every one of them a little, like, checking on you. Thank you, you got. I mean, a thank you card at the end of every season. Sent a little, well, not every season, but I did th that past season. Sent her a little thank you card, checking on her. I appreciate everything you contribute to the show. Even sent a little gift, a little passport holder. Look, my nails all messed up. I'm on here being messy. I need to be going somewhere, getting cleaned up. I just brushed my teeth and said, let me go and spill some damn tea. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all some lunchtime tea. But she's just lying. That girl is a habitual liar. That is not your role, Quad. You can't be the victim, okay? Yeah, I heard her say they was her real friends. I know they are now. She had a bunch of them. She just don't know how to, she don't know how to be a friend. Is she pregnant? I don't know. Mm. Uh... Yeah, I said that too. She loved with you know, that's a lot of it. I think she should. I'm proud of her for, for being on another show, and I think it's an excellent transition for her. How about that? And love, I'm sure she's gonna say, Well, she don't have no power. We'll see how much I do have. Because I I I won't say power. I know I have influence. And she can play with it if she wants to. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, I, I said that she lied. We let her get away with murder. They all starting to see it though. Everyone I'm starting to see, even that damn heavenly seed. Okay. Y'all make sure y'all go to V103 and check out the interview. I had time to play with their asses today. I was here for it. I had one eye open and listen to Dr. G, and I, my little heart went out to him. Okay, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.